hello everyone welcome back to the reservoir simulation course and uh, we are doing the review of the uh, basic equations used in reservoir simulators so in the last lecture we discussed about the, the flow equation of the black oil model which was let's look at it this was the equation where we said that the black oil model depends upon the formation volume factor change in the pressure porosity and with respect to time and distance that are the main parameters that are used in the black oil model now uh, when we talk about the mathematical models well they are not complete unless you define their boundary and initial conditions that's important so any mathematical model you have you must define their boundary and initial condition for example if you have the the well here at this point so what are the conditions exactly at this point and what are the conditions at the boundary of the reservoir okay now these we have two kinds of boundary conditions as you can see one is the pressure condition like what is the pressure here exactly and what is the pressure here exactly with respect to distance okay and then the other one is the rate distance what is the flow rate here and what is the flow rate here then we have another kind of body discussions uh, boundary condition which are depending upon the time after changing some time situation is changing so what are the conditions that are existing so we have to whenever we have the mathematical model black oil or any other model any so we have to define there the boundary condition and the initial condition so far so in order for the black oil model we have this kind of conditions let me show you these are the pressure as i said we have two kinds of condition one is the pressure based and uh, other one is the uh, uh, the the rate based so here x is equal to zero means at the initial condition where we have the well and this one when the last end of the the, well, the condition for example if this is the well so this uh, uh, x is equal to zero is here and x is equal to l is here so this condition is it represents uh, here and this condition represents exactly at this point so these are the boundary condition we just said that t is greater than zero and we represent the condition pl and here we represent at pr conditions of both of them then we have the uh, the pressure condition normally we specified as the bottom hole pressure of the production so at initial condition at x is equal to zero we usually talk about the bottom hole flowing pressure and uh, and that's it and uh, for the the rate condition we are using actually the darcy's law again we will use the x is equal to zero and x is equal to l this is the condition flow rate condition that we use because we are talking about the single phase flow here in this case so we are using darcy's law as the flow equations and uh, these are the condition as i said need to be defined because any mathematical model without those equations is not uh, valid so for the reservoir flows this rate condition may be specified for production and injection both wells at some position of the reservoirs so these are the conditions that needs to be defined and when we do the reservoir simulations you will see that how we define them okay so these are the primary variables and in this case we say initial conditions and where in the beginning of the production when time is equal to zero so pressure is zero this is the original pressure we talk about and initial pressure but this initial pressure is actually depending upon the position is the function of position here so this is the equation that is used to find the pressure with respect to some you know position and this is the thickness the z direction is the thickness of the reservoir from the reference when we talk about it so these are the conditions of finding the pressure at certain point when we talk about the non horizontal systems moving ahead remember that in this lecture we are just reviewing what what is going on at the by simulations now in the previous example uh, we whatever we talked about we talked about uh, only the single phase 
flow. I mean, we talked about only one single phase incompressible. You can say about only oil. Now, for the each of the well, uh, we talk about as I said, we in the reservoir we have three uh, phases, which we have the gas, oil, and water. Three different phases. So the equation has to be written for three of them. So for example, this L here represents for oil, then this represents for water and for gas. And then we have to add all of them. So we have to describe these equations based on the oil, water and gas, three of them. So these are the multi-phase flow equations for the black oil model. So the first equation that we talked about the continuity equation. Now in this case, we have to add more phases. So what we did here, we added the uh, solution gas also here, this RSO. We added the solution gas here. This term here, we added the solution gas. And uh, we talked about the remaining oil. OK, this, this represents the part of oil remaining in the liquid at the surface. And uh, this is the remaining of the gas. This is at the surface, separate oil and separate gas. But in the reservoir, we have uh, this is the oil and this is the gas. And this is the term that we added here is the solution gas divided by the formation volume factor. So this, are the, this term has to be replaced in this continuity equation in order to make it a multi-phase flow. So this is the final continuity equation become now here we have added the gas and oil gas and oil now we are talking about two phases gas and oil here in this case so starting from this one we said that we have to add the phases this is the equation i showed you before in the last slide and now we added the and then we solve it we put the boundary conditions and then we solve it then as you know that in the oil reservoir uh, the direction is not only the straight direction always the oil doesn't flow always like in a straight direction like this one oil can go in this direction in, in this direction in this direction in this direction this direction anyway it depends on the the channel it has formed actually so that's why we have to consider the 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 direction also yes now once we have this equation here which is for the this equation of continuity here and we have the Darcy equation here for separate phases we put all of them here in the main black oil model uh, equation and then the last equation that we got for multi-phase flow is this one this one the reservoir simulator solve them with respect to pressure and rate and then we get our results to obtain the pressure at certain point and flow rate at certain point and so on Remember that when we talk about the symbols like uh, P, C, O, W. Yes, so equation, this one is for the oil and uh, this one is for the gas, dissolved gas and oil, both this equation. And in this case, we are talking about the water. So we have now three equations, flow equation for oil, gas and oil, water. And so these are the main equations that are used in the reservoir simulators for black oil simulations and so on. Now, as I said in the uh, previous uh, few minutes ago, that the oil doesn't always flow in a straight direction like this one, straight. No, it maybe it's like this, maybe it's like this, maybe it's like this. So it forms an angle, here is the angle. It forms an angle. In the one dimension it goes straight, but usually it doesn't go straight. So in the Darcy equation, we have to add this also. And we added this, this straight line. And so the equation finally for the non-horizontal flow like become like this one. And we added the angle also in terms of dip angle, dip angle here. And now uh, we said that uh, in a reservoir, the flow not on is not only in one dimension. Flow could be in any dimension, three dimension, x, y, and z. 
So then the equation for the multi-dimension can be become like this one. Ux minus Uy, then that then we define the Ux, Uys and Uz separately as we defined earlier in the equations here. Like this one. For the known horizontal slope, these are the equations and Darcy's equation like become like this one because we are now putting the angle and because uh, the root is not in a linear direction so we have to add this this one now we talk about the coordinates what kind of coordinates we have in the reservoir simulation software well usually these are the rectangular one coordinate where we have the rectangles and we talk about the x y and z then we have the cylindrical coordinates we have cylindrical reservoirs we, we feel about theta r and z these two are the most common one and use mostly you will use this one xyz but there are certain cases like water spawning uh, issue that uh, you are going to use the cylindrical coordinates and these are the spherical coordinates but these two are the most widely used in reservoir simulations now for these uh, boundary conditions we have to describe the boundary conditions here in this picture we talk about the the boundary conditions of the multi-phase flow well in this case when we have the oil wells so the initial condition we talk about is in terms of pressure and flow rate so sometimes what we do we do the conditions that we find out is by producing the well by the oil production rates so the, these oil production rate tell us the, the initial conditions of the well and uh, for the pound water also we talk about the boundary conditions here initially and the final state so anyway so the concern the point was here that the initial and boundary condition here defined in terms of the oil production rates at the surface or the total liquid rate that's the main idea of this slide here for the multi-phase flow boundary conditions the previous one are applied also in the same point so here for example uh, when we have the gas oil and water we have to first define how much uh, is the pressure here in the oil and how much the pressure we have in the water and how much gas we have so these condition has to be specified initially initial conditions in this case we have to also define that how much is the saturation like how much oil exists in this reservoir and how much gas exists in this reservoir how much water i mean in terms we have to define the saturation initial saturations also for this one for initial pressures we also need to define initial saturations this required knowledge of water oil contact gas water contact so when we talk about this uh, reservoir simulation we definitely have to define how much gas we have how much oil we have how much what water saturation we have plus we have to define the gas oil contact and water oil contact what is the gas oil contact gas oil contact is the transition between gas and oil where oil and gas meets and water oil contact is the transition where oil and water they meet to each other so these in initial calculations saturation we have to define and well logging and geologists actually give us this information in a precise way and so on so these are the uh, some of the basic review of the equations that are used in reservoir simulation and uh, now there are some questions that you can answer using this one for example what is the mass balance equation you remember this we talk about mass is equal area density and multiply by its velocity yes then in the black oil you can write what is the most common relationship between velocity and pressure and uh, you can these equations are given in porosity and pressure here is the compressibility equation which is uh, relating porosity with the the pressure then uh, we talk about the density to pressure expressions for density to pressure there are some equations for that what is grip bre break black oil model we discussed also this one what are the parameters for the black oil what are the what is the Darcy's equation in the one dimension in inclined flow so one phase three dimensional flow there is one equation which you can see so these are the basic general questions that you need to answer for the reservoir simulations. Now in the next lecture we will talk about the discretization. Let me know if you need any more information for this one.
so we can discuss it so thank you very much <coughs> for this lecture and see you again